Hello friends, welcome to my new video. Uh, in the last video, we have uh, seen that uh, how to install the operating system in our Raspberry Pi. After installing the operating system, we are done with up, uh, uploading the image in our micro SD card. And now we have inserted that. Uh, now we are going to insert that micro SD card which we have uploaded with the Raspbian Jesse image to our Raspberry Pi. So here. You have, you have to insert the our micro SD card in our Raspberry Pi and uh, to find the IP address uh, first of all we should know why should we find the IP address of our Raspberry Pi so um, uh, with the help of the IP address of our Raspberry Pi we will connect uh, to the terminal of our Raspberry Pi so that we can program it according to our need and that IP address will also help us to connect the, our system graphical display to our laptop okay to connect the to find out the ip address we will need one ethernet patch cable that is the rj45 mmj and uh, uh, and there is the one data cable usb data cable to provide the power supply to our raspberry pi okay these two things are needed to find the ip address of our raspberry pi and connect our system to our raspberry pi First of, install, uh, first of all, I am going to insert the my USB cable to my Raspberry Pi and uh, now uh, see, when we insert our data cable to our Raspberry Pi, its two LEDs will glow, here you can see that our Pi is now in booting stage, it is booting and uh, this is the patch cable which I am going to insert in my it is very high and in my laptop both ways okay i have inserted in my laptop and now i'm going to insert in my raspberry pi okay now i have inserted my both the cable and attached my raspberry pi and my raspberry pi is now booting okay now first of all our system is uh, connected to a raspberry pi and uh, my patch cable is also connected and my reservoir pi is booted now first of all you have to allow your wi-fi adapter to provide one ip address to your raspberry pi means here raspberry pi is our third party or external peripheral device for our system so okay uh, so first of all we have to provide one ip address to our raspberry pi for this you have to go to your network and sharing center and there you have to allow your Wi-Fi adapter to provide one IP address to your peripheral device. For this here, you can go to your network and settings center or from here we will go from here. Just find, just search for the Mm, here for the window plus x we will go for the control panel where is the control panel okay this is our control panel okay here we will go to the network and settings okay this is our network and setting center and just open it and it will bring you to this new window and from here you have to go to the your change adapter setting okay just open the change adapter setting and right click on Wi-Fi driver. Here, go to the properties, and uh, now when the properties will be open, just go to the sharing tab. Okay, then the sharing tab you, you have to allow both of these files. Okay, you have to allow the your other user to allow your internet connectivity and then you have got one ip address to your system okay just press ok and just close all the things now you have provided one ip address to your raspberry pi to find that ip address just open your command window window plus r just type cmd enter this is your command window of your windows and now just type ARP minus A command, which is for finding the address resolution protocol. It will find the address of your peripheral devices which are connected to your system. Okay. ARP minus A. Okay. This is the address resolution protocol. This command will find the IP address of your peripherals. 
okay here this is the interface of 192.168 this is my router address which i which from where i have connected directly mm, okay and now this is the our other uh, this is the my uh, this ethernet driver and this is the ip address of my raspberry pi just copy it and now you have to uh, you will require one third party software to open your raspberry pi terminal now we have find our ip address of raspberry pi now just open your putty which is the third party software here you have to insert the this ip address to access your terminal of the your raspberry pi okay and this is our uh, putty terminal and just paste the ip address which we have find there and just open it and it is asking you whether you are to connect or not just here so now i want to tell you that uh, this is the terminal of our raspberry pi but now it is asking for the, our cardinalities for the login permission your uh, username is pi and your password is raspberry by default okay r a s p e p -E r r y okay just type enter this is your terminal of your raspberry pi so in this way we can find our ip address and access our terminal of your raspberry pi okay friends thank you for watching this video and uh, in the next video i will show you that uh, with the help of this ip address how we can access our graphical display of raspberry pi okay so stay tuned to my this channel thank you for watching